Do you know there's different ways to make money in the ATM business? Stay to the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what those different ways are. Hi, I'm Phil from PDQ Merch Enterprises and the ATM Estimating Group page, and we help hundreds of aspiring ATM business owners go from zero ATMs to ATM Business Pro in as little as 30 days. I always remember here at PDQ Merch Enterprises and the ATM Estimating Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Without further ado, the top five ways to make money in the ATM business with an existing ATM. All right, so way number one, this is the standard way. This is where you buy an ATM, you place an ATM, and you do a commission split with the location. Sometimes you do a commission split, sometimes you don't, but basically it's just a standard placement of the ATM. Nothing fancy, just a regular everyday commission with the ATM. Way number two. So sometimes when you get an ATM business or different locations, you're faced with a decision. The business owner, they say, you know what? I want to own my own ATM. And you're like, well, I don't want to lose a sale. So you just walk away. However, you can't, you don't have to walk away. You can still sell them the location, the business owner, store owner, an ATM and make something else with it. You can make a processing fee. You can make a maintenance fee. You can make something. So a lot of times, you don't want to lose that sale. So what you do is you say, look, so you say, we'll sell you the ATM and we'll support it. As long as you're with us, we'll support it on a, a maintenance program. Sometimes you would decide that maintenance program is 25 cents a transaction. Sometimes it's 50. Sometimes it's something else. Maybe it's a standard monthly fee, but what you do is you maintain the ATM. And then, you know what? You can also most like, we don't charge processing fees with our ATM, but you can step on it. You can get yourself a processing fee, call it 15, 20 bucks a month and then you get a, a per transaction fee. You're still making money, you sold on the ATM, you pick up some money on the sale, and you're gonna pick up some money on the maintenance and the, and the statement fee or processing fee every month. So even though it's not a lot of revenue, it's still a little bit of revenue, and then you know what, you're in and out of the deal, and now you're just, it's just instant money, and you're not doing it. So if you're interested in starting your own ATM business but didn't know where to start, stay to the end of the video, and I will share with you our checklist entitled ATM Business Pass income checklist, the five things you need to know to start a profitable ATM business so you can start earning passive income for your family. You'll earn between $250 and $1,500 of passive income every single month. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, way number three is sometimes when you guys are starting out, you don't have a lot of money or you know what, you're, you've been placing ATMs, you kind of run out of money. So this is another way you can still make money, but you don't have to come out a lot of money out of your pocket. What happens is, you can buy the ATM and they can vault cash the ATM. You can, the location you can vault cash it and you can work on a revenue share, let's say 50% of the revenue or a little less for them because you got the, still got the ATM expense, but they're putting their money in it. And if it doesn't work out, you know what? They take the money out and you take your ATM out or you decide, hey, you know what? You're gonna put your money back in and then you're gonna minimize their commission. But this is an easier way to grow your business a little faster if you guys want. Again, I'm not a proponent of growing the business fast. I'm a proponent of growing the business slow and steady. But sometimes opportunity comes and you, you want to take advantage of that opportunity. So what you do is you place the ATM in there. They put their money and they, we consider that they become the vaulter of the ATM. Way number four is on credit card transactions, you can upsell that credit card transaction. So let's say you're charging $3. And when somebody wants to do a, a cash advance on the credit card, you can upsell that 50 cents, 25 cents a dollar. So we have the ability to do that. So now if somebody comes in, they put their, instead of a debit card, they put a credit card in there and you're charging $3. Now it'll automatically charge them four for the credit card. So you make that extra dollar. Keep in mind, you're only paying the, the location a per transaction fee. So let's say you were paying a 50 cents and it was a $3 transaction fee. Now on a credit card it's four, you make that extra dollar, 100% goes in your pocket because you're still giving the location at 50 cents a transaction, but you're making the extra. Now way number five is you can always add Bitcoin to the ATM. You can make it what we call a BTM, which is a Bitcoin ATM. Now, you might have some challenges with your bank, so you just gotta be careful on the language that you talk to them because you don't wanna lose your bank account. However, you're not actually in the Bitcoin business, you're just putting an app on your ATM and allowing you to do that. 
And if you guys were interested in the Bitcoin, we here at PDQ, we can help facilitate how to do that and what to do. So you can make extra money on the ATM and then you can pass some of that extra money onto your customer. If you desire, if you choose to do that, you can do that, but it doesn't cost you anything to do this process and you can make extra money. It's not a whole lot of money. Just keep in mind, you're not killing it. Bitcoin doesn't kill it, but it does add some incremental revenue to you and you don't have to do anything for this. So it makes it nice and easy and it's just a little bit more revenue on the same ATM and you already control the real estate because you've got the location in this venture. So if you're interested in starting your own ATM business, I want to invite you to our free checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. The five things you need to know to start a profitable ATM business so you can start earning passive income, make more money, and spend more time with your family. So if you're interested, click the link down below and start your ATM journey today. Again, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM s Group Grouping, where we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Thank you guys very much, and thank you for making this channel number one.